All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yah, Bashem Shai, Bashem HaKadosh, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you fellow Akim out there pushing out this word of true sincerity. All right, so this video is going to call, be called um, In the World, But I'm Not of the World, okay? Uh, the elect that the Heavenly Father has um, separated from this world, they will have no love for this for this world. They will be hastening the destruction of this world. Okay. Now, when I say world, I'm speaking about in uh, a rulership standpoint. You know, in a uh, in the in the Greek, uh, uh, what are they? What is the word? A eon, meaning an age. All right, because this age of rulership, which is um, governed by the Edomites, this is going to be soon be destroyed. You know this this age, this world. So the heavenly Father, He has this prophet set up on the planet Earth for a particular reason, and that's to prophesy. Okay, and and those men that are separated from this world, they have no love for this world. Okay, they are not of this world. Let me bring out this scripture. First John two and fifteen: Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. So a characteristic of the elect would be that they would hate this world. Meaning, anything that comes in front of this truth, you know, they will reject it. Anything that gets in gets in the way of this truth, they will reject it. They will re reject, you know, this current uh, lifestyle, you know, of uh, Americanism, Babylonianism. Okay, they will reject the wicked way. Let me bring out another scripture, because the, the scriptures uh, speak about fleeing uh, from Babylon, but spiritually. Okay, and and that's a characteristic of the of the elect. They will flee from Babylon. Their minds. Okay, the, the scriptures say, um, "You shall know the truth, and the, sh the truth shall make you free." Okay, it's going to set your mind free from the the prison. Okay, of the matrix, the prison of this society, and there's there's all type of spirits out here to to um, get you and get you and take you away from the heavenly Father's knowledge. Okay, so let me bring this out in uh, Micah, and you know, Lord, well, I'm not going to make this long. I just want to go right to the point. This is Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not our rest. Okay, we we are um, we are look we are looked at as spectacles. Are are we are look looked at as second and third class citizens? Okay, Esau, right along with the other nations, they're over us, and and they and they know that. Okay, they not only they know that, but they show that in their everyday life. Now, just because you have a good, uh, you know, Filipino friend, which they, they, he can be a Jake. Okay. Or you have a good white friend, well, he can be a jake. Yet, if you do have a so-called white friend, when they are not around you, they speak uh, about your people, okay? But when they are around you, they keep it PC, okay? Everybody keeps it PC. But once they are, you know, uh, away from the ears of you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, what are they saying? Well, they're talking about you like dogs. And what proves that? Well... There's all type of viral videos, okay, the white woman, uh, the white man, woman, and child uh, calling you so-called Negroes, Negroes, or, or niggas, niggers, okay, derogatory statements, okay, you so-called Mexicans, they're telling you to go back home, they're, uh, they're calling you uh, wetbacks, yet, you know, two-thirds of our people, they still love their oppressors, okay, so it says, rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. Everything about this place is polluted. It was, it's, And more importantly, it's going to pollute your mind. Okay? It's going to pollute your mind, body, and soul. Okay? You're, you're going to um, partake in the, the food of Babylon, which is nothing but defiled chemicals. Okay? Uh, the scriptures say that uh, you shall eat your food defiled amongst the Gentiles. Okay? Not only are you eating defiled food is in form of abominations, you're actually eating things that are not food. Okay? Human flesh. And you don't even know it.
okay you don't you, you don't have a but you don't you don't butcher your own food you don't grow your own food so you are subject to uh this man uh um this man's uh system okay everything that you want you have to go to a store and and, and pay the so-called white man for it okay oh you might have a little garden well you know what where do you get the seeds from where do you get the soil from where do you get the water from you get it from the so-called white man and that's polluted so not only are you um, polluting your temple with the with the food of Babylon, you're polluting your mind with the belief in Babylon, the belief in this system, the belief that uh, you know this place is going to last forever. When this place, uh, all signs are pointing to destruction. It says because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, and you see that it has destroyed our people. It has it has destroyed our people's minds. They think they're Christians. They think that they're black. They think that they're Mexican. They think that they think that they're American. Okay, conscious. Okay, everybody has an opinion, but they don't have the true knowledge and wisdom of Yah Bashem Al Shah, and that's the only thing that's going to save you. That's the only thing that's going to uh, keep you stable. Okay, for these rough times. The only thing that's going to keep your mind stable because we're about to come into a time like never before. Okay, so the elect, they will not be of this world. All right, they are in the world. Okay, and I'm going to get a scripture to prove, um, and there's many scriptures, why the elect are here. It says, even with a sore destruction. So let me get this scripture. Give me a second. second this is Isaiah 62 and 6 I have set watchmen upon thy walls O Jerusalem so the prophets are set up to be watchmen this is the reason why we're here okay and while we're here we're gonna go through afflictions we're gonna go through tribulations just to bring out this word okay uh, Satan is going to hinder all right, he's going to try to stop this word from coming out all right by doing certain things okay uh, uh paul paul was uh shipwrecked you know he was beaten you know he was uh stoned by the the wicked uh jews okay which the lord he brought uh paul back to life all right he uh suffered you know loss just so he can bring this word out so we we are going to suffer those things yet i'm gonna bring out another scripture where it speaks about that i shall see thy teachers you know your teachers are not going to be backed into a corner anymore meaning your the most high is going to uh, continue to set the prophets up okay to to be able to do what to do this i have set watchmen upon thy walls O jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night so we don't we the prophets okay we believe that we are the prophets coming back Okay, we believe that we are the reincarnated prophets coming back. Okay, uh, Jeremiah, the first chapter, before I before I formed thee, I knew thee and sanctified thee, and basically set thee um, as a prophet. You know, to prophesy to to the nation of Israel and also to the uh, to the other nations to let them know their uh, who they are and let them know that there's a judgment about to, uh, about to pursue. Okay, because before any kingdom is taken down, okay, just read the scriptures. The heavenly Father, He set up a prophet to uh, the, the prop prophesy against it. Okay, the pro uh, the Je uh, the prophet Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Amos, Haggai, Obadiah, so forth and so so on. And and now now 2019, the year of Karagma, the Lord He has set up that 144,000. Okay, and once the 144,000 are uh the hundred forty four thousand are the prophets okay and once the hundred forty four thousand are sealed then this destruction is is, is pretty much the, the destruction is coming the destruction of this man is coming which shall never hold thy peace day or night ye that make mention of the lord keep not silence so how how do we keep not silence well we constantly put a, a edification we constantly bring out um you know prophecies you know the scriptures uh, speak about 
that you know you the best gift the uh the covet is the, the the gift of prophecy because we're in that time we're in a time of prophesying uh uh these last few prophecies like the rfid microchip you know people come against it say that it's something else when it when it is indeed the chip the mark of the beast okay uh world war three okay the uh uh israel uh, popping off this world war three okay russia what russia how russia is going to be that spearhead to, to guard all these different nations like iran okay it speaks about economic collapse it speaks about you know diseases you know uh, more wars and rumors of war so we are uh, all set up to, to speak about these things constantly day and night and videos are going up day and night okay and give him no rest. Give who no rest? Yah Basham al Shad. Okay, give him no rest. Meaning, uh, we constantly, uh, through through the sacrifice of these videos, we're, we're basically telling the Lord to, to, to speed this thing up. Okay? Asking the Lord to come back and destroy this place. And um, as expected, that's what he's doing. Okay? Just as he has said, uh, the scriptures say that he is not a man that he shall lie. Okay, so he he has said he has said it. Okay, through 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 the prophets. Okay, in the book, and and now the words are gone out, and they are not returning uh, void. So we we see that we see that you know all hell all hell is j just about to break off. Okay, uh, gas prices are skyrocketing. Okay, you have that incident in Saudi Arabia. Uh, America tried to America and Saudi Arabia, and the conglomerate nations that are together over there in the Middle East. They're trying to say that Iran is the one who, who, um, who made that attack happen, and, and what's happening with Iran? Iran, all right, major sanctions. Okay, eight, uh, uh, oil production has dropped down from uh, to eighty uh, from eighty percent. Oil production in Iran has dropped eighty percent, and it's crippling their society. That's what Esau is doing, waging a war on them. Okay, so he can finally go up in there. And he's gonna think he's gonna think that he's gonna go in there, but Russia, according to biblical prophecy, is gonna be a guard unto Iran, okay? And give him no rest till he established, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right now, Jerusalem is not a praise in the earth, okay? Jerusalem is speaking about you Israelites, okay? A people and, and a, a people before is a place and, and the land of Israel. The land of Israel right now is occupied by heathens. Okay, they they they're over there sacrificing chickens for the Day of Atonement. Well, there, there's no there's no scripture that says that. There's no scripture that says to sacrifice chickens. But there you go, Esau, and his mouth is 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 all of it's all over the place, man. And you know what? People listen to this man. So we're we're set up. We're set up to destroy uh, uh the lies of this man. Okay, that's what the prophets are set up. Esau he has this narrative. And the Most High, He has this narrative, and this truth is stronger than, um, this truth is stronger than Esau's lies. I'm gonna bring out this scripture first, and then I'm gonna go to Isaiah 30. So I'm gonna bring out Second uh, Corinthians. Okay. So this is Second Corinthians 10, and and four says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So we we don't take up, uh. Weapons, okay, uh, physical weapons, carnal weapons like Esau, guns and knives. We don't do military drills. We're we're doing that spiritually. Okay, we're spiritually taking up arms. But mighty, it says, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. What's a stronghold? Like in the ancient world, a stronghold would be, uh, you know, a strong city. You know they have the wall you know and then you have the mighty men they'll go to the, you know and they'll tear it down through much through much force well Esau's uh his wall is these lies you know uh, these different philosophies these, you know especially when it comes to the philosophy that he pushed in the Bible basically uh, manipulating the Bible to his uh, to his benefit now we're here to, 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 to cast all that down all these imaginations all these wicked thoughts that these people have in their mind okay towards the most high okay who, who is the most high and how's he uh how, how does he uh, uh feel about things he oh he, he loves the world no he doesn't the most high the most high hates this place okay he only loves his elect 
He only loves the, those who love him. That's what it says in the scriptures. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early, uh, I believe it says, shall find rest. Their children shall find rest. It's somewhere around that. I'm just uh, vaguely paraphrasing. It's, that's in the book of Psalms or, or in the book of Proverbs, one of those chapters. Uh, I believe maybe Proverbs 8. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Now, the knowledge of the Most High is the, is the correct breakdown of the scriptures. And what is what is exalting itself against uh, against that? Well, every every everything here in Babylon, Esau's lies, that has destroyed the minds of all the people. All right, people uh, uh, believe God loves everybody. Okay, they believe that uh, God and His Son. I'm just I'm just using those terms. We know we know that it's uh, we know the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. People believe that God and His Son are white. You know, the the the, the, Isra the Israelites were white. They believe that the uh, those so-called Jews. Over there in the land of Israel are the, are the true people of God. Whatever they say goes. So there's a lot of wicked imaginations, and we're we're set up to cast those down by do by doing what? what? By speaking the words. Okay, Esau has articles. Okay, we're we're here to we're here to spiritually break that down and filter through the scriptures and tell you what's going on. Okay. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. So we we basically, we uh, we are set up to correct. Okay, this word is set up to correct. This word is set up to rebuke. Okay, this word is set up to cast down. Okay, I said I was going to get Isaiah. I'm, I'm going to get it. One second, I'm going to bring out another scripture, Hebrews. Give me a second and show you what this word is set up to do, and how Esau he 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 knew that the scriptures he knew especially the Israelites because who's who's in the who's in the uh, Christianity who's in the Catholicism what is the same damn thing who's into it you Israelites okay so as long as he has your mind captivated he's a okay. And how did he do that? By manipulating the scriptures. Okay, because this book can be uh, used um, for evil and it can be used for good. You got to watch uh, the book of Eli. And uh, that one Edomite, he wanted the Bible. It was basically post-apocalyptic. And uh, Eli, which was played by Denzel Washington, he had the only Bible. Which it was spiritual because it was in Braille and he was blind. Okay, so the only, only, the, the only the elect can break down this this word. Well, it tells you that the 144,000, uh, they're the only ones that are, that were able to sing that song, meaning they were on the only ones to be able to understand the scriptures and break the scriptures down. Okay, and deliver the scriptures. Okay, unto uh, the the people. Uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Let the word. Uh, it says, for the word of the Most High is quick. And powerful, yeah. This word is, is powerful, man. This this word can uh, cast demons. It can heal you. Okay. It can make it can um it, it, it can uh, uh get deep. I said get demons off of you. Just said that cast demons off of you. You know, get you in order. Okay, and and it says and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even. To the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, it can cut your ass up spiritually, and this is worse than being cut up by a sword. Okay, because through a sword, say you get cut by a sword, you could possibly, you know, heal you. You know, you could possibly over the time, of course, the time get healed up. But this right here, this, this, this can drive you crazy. This, this, uh, this word can drive you crazy. It can cut you up like that. Uh, it says piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrows and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart and this is why uh, a lot of uh, Israelites don't want to come to this word because when we break down these scriptures the correct way it cuts them up it cuts them up so they don't want to have anything to do with the Heavenly Father 
Why? Because there's a, there's a responsibility. And Jake doesn't want responsibility. And that's why, you know, if people come up, they, they, uh, they start yelling and screaming, going crazy because this word is cut. Best believe you, this word is cut, cut, cut into the heart, into the mind. And it, it basically exposes what manner of persons you are. It exposes if you hate God or not. Because these are the true words of God. It's not like we're breaking it down the wrong way. And none of you people are studied. Okay, America doesn't doesn't uh, teach you how to study. Nor you you just can't open up the Bible. You just can't open up the Bible and, and know what it means. Okay, he, uh, even uh, as Esau, as uh, tedious as he is, okay, he just can't open up the Bible. I mean, he can study the history. You know, he has his uh, you know, he has his uh, uh, uh you know. Priest, Jesuit priests and those of the Bible Belt and you know his um, his scholars you know he uh, he has uh, them going to the scriptures right yet he cannot he cannot understand prophecy you have some of them that know a little bit about prophecy they know Babylon the greatest uh, is America which more than likely they got it from they got it from our elders, you know, and their elders. Okay, because Esau is a car carnal man, even though he's wiser, he's wiser than the children of light. Yet, when it comes to uh, when it comes to spiritual things, he's not wiser than the children of light. He's not wiser than the prophets. Okay, only the prophets were able to sing this song and break the scriptures down. And, and now that I said that, uh, because we're in the last days. You are going to see your prophets. And it's not like uh, how Esau or your imagination would um, picture what a prophet would be. Some man that's very eloquent in speaking. You know, uh, very nice in speech. You know. Uh, went went to uh, a school. Because Esau, Esau has it in you, you people's mind that you have to go to school okay to to understand uh to understand the bible okay he has to teach you okay or you have to come from the sky or right? you have to be meditating uh 15 hours out of the day and then you can be deemed a prophet and and, and, and the majority of times the the people they want to hear smooth words like the scriptures say so esau he distorted the the the, the way that the scriptures are broken down so now when you see when you see the men of Great Millstone out there on the highways and hedges, because we do believe that we are those prophets, okay, and we say that humbly, you know, uh, it's just that's what the Most High set us up to do, okay, and, and there's nothing we we can't we can't run from that. We were set up to to do this, and we and, and don't do we not tell you the truth? Well, the scriptures say, "Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth?" Uh, Paul said that, and we have become. The enemy of, of our nation in particular. The enemy of the state. Okay? Uh, the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites. They're looked at as black identity extremists. Like we don't know who the hell we are. We're black. We're, they're, they're still calling us black. There, there's no such thing as black. And I almost, almost cursed. <laughs> there's literally no such thing as black. Okay? It, it, anybody, can, anybody can tell you that. And when you look at a so-called black man... Does he have black skin or does he have brown skin? It's very simple, but you know, we're we're dealing with we're dealing with idiots. Okay, the majority of you people are idiots. We we have to break down on these things. We were once simple, okay? We were once ignorant. I'll say it more like that. What you people are idiots. Those those are the non-believers. But we were once um ignorant to this word. Yet the through this through through the spirit and power of Yah Bashima Shai through his mercies. The Lord, he has woken us up, okay, to understand these things. Because why? These things were once inside of us already. Let me let me go to the scripture. One second. Isaiah 30 and 20. And, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. So the Israelites as a whole, especially when it comes to the, to, to the teachers or to the prophets, you know, to the elect, 
they have the bread of adversity. What's that? Catching hell. Okay? And all you Israelites are catching hell. You're just ignorant. You're literally just ignorant to the fact that you're catching hell. Your mind has not been liberated. The only thing that can liberate your mind are these scriptures. Okay? And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Who are your who, who are the teachers? The teachers are the prophets. That's synonymous with uh with, with the prophets. Okay, the pastors. Okay. Those those are the, the true leaders of the nation of Israel. And like I said earlier. You, you think and you have it in your mind that a, 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 a prophet is some mystical being. No, we're just average everyday, what you call average everyday people. Okay, really, uh, just the, the, the uh, you know, what you would call uh, or, or the prophets are looked at as being low. They will be the poor. Well, that's who the most sides raised up. Just the average everyday, not an entertainer. Not a, a so-called somebody that's big in the industry, which if a brother was going towards that direction and he was a prophet, well, most of all, he took him out of that. He took him out of being a, a football star, or a, ba a basketball star, a fighter, a, a music entertainer. Well, those are all bullshit professions. Those professions are professions from the devil. OK, to keep you asleep and to make billions of dollars off of you Israelites. Because as much money as you make, he's making 10 to 20 times more than that, okay? If he's if he's willing to pay you $30 million a year, how how much how much money is this man making? Okay? He's making quadruple that, 10 times that. And he's gonna continue to make money off your legacy, okay? He got your ass signing contracts. Are right, you're subject unto him, okay? Well the scriptures say the borrower is subject to the lender okay who's the borrower you Israelites you're the borrower who's the lender the so-called white man in particular the so-called Jew okay and what does he do he he, he lends you money on uh, usury some form of fashion when you sign that contract he's gonna make more money than you you than you're gonna get okay you don't you don't own the rights and then when you do try to own the rights, look at Prince Okay. What happened? Look at Michael Michael Jackson. Look 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 what happens. You mysteriously die. All right. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. So right now you 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 are seeing your teachers. You're hearing your teachers. Okay. That's why it's important for the brothers. Okay. To go out on the highways and hedges because we are set up to be a spectacle unto the world. Okay? By uh by the foolishness of preaching. Okay, because what we're doing is foolishness unto the most high. Yet the Heavenly Father, this is how this is how He wants it to be set up. Okay? By prophesying, by speaking out on the highways and hedges, and then continually through the internet pushing out content. Alright, that's what we're set up to do. Okay, so we are in the world for a particular reason, but we are not of the world. Neither are we loved by the world, nor do we give a goddamn about this world. We're we are uh, hastening. OK, uh, this day to be de this world to be destroyed. Maybe let me bring out maybe one or two more scriptures and I'm going to close it out. Give me a second. Let me pull something up. Uh, James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not, <laughs> the most high called, called the nation adulterers and adulteresses, okay? Because this is a, 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 a generation of adulterers, okay? Know ye not uh, physically and spiritually. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high? Now, I want to look up this word enmity. Let's go into the blue letter. Give me a second. Let me just pull it up. Strong 
Alex G. Now, it doesn't really um, give you a definition. In the definition, it just says enmity, cause of enmity. Now, in the King James translation count, okay, enmity is in the scriptures five times. G2189, and it's in the scriptures um, one time. It says hatred, okay? Now, going to the Strong's definition, Okay, you just heard you just heard the Greek hostility. Okay, so friendship of the world is hostility uh, to the Most High. By implication, a reason for opposition, enmity, hatred. So basically, friendship of this world. Okay, let me read let me read the scripture again. Ye adulterers, excuse me. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity. Or hatred with the Most High, whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world. Okay, a friend of the world is someone who um, who participates in this world. You go to gay parades. You uh, you're okay with um, women's uh, women being over men, women's rights over men. Okay, you're okay uh, with uh, the wicked laws of Babylon. You're okay with. Um, you know, Esau pushing this wicked philosophy. You're okay with uh, uh, pork. You're okay with Christianity. You you love everybody. You love all the nations. Okay, you're you're okay with all the wicked laws that are going on. That's being a friend of this world. You're you're uh, you're okay at celebrating Christmas and birthdays and Halloween. Okay, you're you're okay with all those things. Well, that is. That is enmity or hatred or uh, a cause of, of um, how, does, how does it go again? Let me read that again. Let me go down to that scripture. Give me a second. It says something about opposition. Uh. A reason for opposition. So the Most High, you having friendship of this world, okay, is um, reason for for the Most High to be opposed, okay, to be your enemy. Okay, you're you're the enemy of Yahweh Shemashah. Uh, basically, you're the enemy of God, the Heavenly Father. Okay. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy. Of the Most High, so you're an enemy of Yah Bashamasha if you're a friend of this place. You're okay with you're okay with uh, uh, uh grocery stores, okay, hot dogs, hamburgers, okay. You're you're okay with um the pollution of this world. You're okay with animals being locked up in cages. You're okay uh, uh getting your check two three weeks after you work. You're you're okay with slavery, okay. You're okay with your people being. You basically you love a Babylon. You love America. You have no problem of this, uh, in this place. Only only problem you have is a nigga might owe you money. Okay, that's the only problem you niggas have, man. The Most High gonna destroy you niggas. He's gonna destroy all you Israelites that don't get on board. Okay, because it's not it's not uh you found God uh, on your time. No, it's the Most High. Now have mercy on you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Okay, that's what in the scriptures in John. Uh, John uh, 15 and 16. Okay, so it's you that get on the board with Yahweh Shema Shai, not when you're ready. When you, oh, I, I, I'm going to do things. I, 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 I like what you're saying, but I'm going to do things kind of my way. You know, I like, I'm going to take a, some, I'm going to take a little bit from here and I'm going to put a little consciousness. No, it's not about, no, 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 no. That's you, that's you having friendship with this place. And you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed, by the way. Okay. I was gonna bring out this scripture. This is uh John 12 and 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. So you Israelites that are uh totally um you know integrated into this society, you don't have you don't have no problem in this society, okay? You like you like the um social media, you okay. With, with your woman being a, a damn whore, because all you, you all you Israelite women, 
the mass majority of you Israelite women are whores. Okay? You're whores. You selling pussy online. Okay? You're being a whore in the street. Okay? If you're if you're okay with that, if you Israelite men are okay with that, well, you love the world. Okay, you love getting on Instagram, um, liking those pictures, liking those videos, being a simp, okay? Begging for pussy. But then when we uh the scriptures speak about arranged marriages, okay, or having a woman at marriageable age, you niggas got a problem with it. Okay, or you got a problem if a man commits adultery, okay, uh, uh of that man getting put to death, okay, or that woman getting put to death. You got a problem with that. So you have a problem with y'all by Shamal Shar. And you have no problem in this world because you love this place okay you love being out of order okay you love uh pleasing yourself you love your life so the scriptures say he that loveth his life excuse me he that loveth his life shall lose it and we here okay at great millstone and all and those of the elect that are outside of the great millstone it's not about great millstone yet the lord did set up uh, uh this group to be the prophets okay this is this is uh, where the truth is at, okay? So you you got to teach the doctrine that 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 has been taught from our apostles and elders on on, on down from their uh, elders, okay? Which is sound doctrine, okay? Let me just read this again. And he and he that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life so we're looking for eternal life okay we're laboring for eternal life to, to really come into rest this is not rest okay going to work waking up early in the goddamn morning your body hurts okay you got all type of inflammation in your body okay you got brain fog you got stomach issues you got diabetes you got all type of elements but you you know you're okay with popping esau's pills Okay, getting drunk, uh, 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 smoking. You're okay with those things to self-medicate. You're okay with uh, uh, television, and cell phones, going to work, putting up, putting up with your goddamn boss, talking shit. You see, you is like you're okay uh, being here in Babylon. You you don't even find any issues. Only time a nigga got an issue is, you know, every once in a while, so the so-called uh, white man will shoot one of you niggas down in the street, which you deserved it. Okay. You might march for a couple of days, you know, hit out a Nike, uh, 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 break Nike uh, store windows and go in there and steal some Jordans. And you're A-OK, -okay, you know, going Best Buy, steal some TVs and electronics. And you're OK, but you you do not identify the so-called white man and other nations as your enemy. Nor do you identify the Heavenly Father as your power. So you're going to lose your life and the elect that hate their life here because this is not living. They're going to gain that to eternal life. OK. So the elect would be in the world for a particular reason, yet they would not be of this world. And let me bring this scripture out. Uh, second is the second uh, first Peter's first Peter's. OK. Because when you come into this thing. And you stop participating in this world. People, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna look at you like a weirdo, man. They gonna, you know, uh, you know, through through the process of time, they gonna, they gonna separate themselves from you. Uh, first, I'm gonna start at the top. First Peter's four and one. For as much then as the Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, so Yahweh Shai, when he was on the, uh, the earth, he went through all type of suffering. Okay, and we're and we are experiencing suffering also because. We are drinking of that cup also. Okay, we are we are walking that straight gate also. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. So have that same mind that when you come into this thing, you're gonna suffer. Okay, which which that suffering is gonna make you hard. Okay, make you hard and and, and make you hate this place. Okay, you so-called blackest man and Native Americans, you're not suffering. What you are suffering, but you're you're so uh, zapped in the mind that you don't even know that you're suffering. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. So through sufferings, okay, through that chastisement, you know, uh, uh, great discipline is, is, is uh, made, okay? 
and, 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 and through that discipline, you separate yourself from this world, which means you separate from sin because that's all that's in this place is sin. Okay. Well, you have the man of sin ruling. So if you have the man of sin, which is eat the, 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 the so-called white man, Esau, the Edomites, <laughs> it's going to be nothing but sin. Uh, 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 in the world. Well, it tells you that in Maccabees, the first chapter. Okay, read Maccabees, the first chapter. Stop the video and read First Maccabees, the first chapter. Okay. If you if you're really about this thing, you know, uh, we all we all got to read more. It says that that he that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men. But to the will of the Most High, so to the will of the Most High, the will of the Most High is to push out this word. The will of the Most High is to separate from this world, not be in the club all the damn time, not pleasing your flesh all the damn time, okay? Honoring the Sabbath, you know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Well, the conclusion of the matter is to fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. What's the will of the Gentiles? When we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Basically, um, pleasing the flesh. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot spe speaking evil of you. So we once did those things, but we were pulled out of the world. Okay? Spiritually, we were pulled out of the world. We weren't physically pulled out of the world because we're still here to, to fulfill a purpose but spiritually we we're pulled out of the world now those our friends and family before we came into this thing they look they look at us like we're bug outs now because we do not we do not uh do the same things of the world you know we, we we're not celebrating uh christmas and halloween and you know all these different work parties and you know, we're to ourselves for the most part. You know, people, people, you know, uh, look at us, you know, strange. Is either they have something good to say or something bad to say, or they just can't really put their finger on it. But those who once knew us and now we separate from that, we're totally different people now. And you might meet somebody uh, that you were once friends with in school or college or something or, you know, whatever it may be. And you meet up again after you've been in this truth for, uh, for so long. And you barely you don't you don't you literally don't have anything in common other than you used to be friends. Excuse me. Okay. So we're we're set up to preach the word, okay, constantly, nonstop, and and, and, and we're gonna catch hell. You know, you're going to go through tribulations, yet Yah Bashaman Shai, he's going to save you and deliver you from all tribulations, okay? Say he's going to hinder, yet the scriptures say that we are not ignorant of saying devices. That's part, amen, that's part of the job, okay? Let me, I'll, I'm just going to end off on this scriptures. Uh, Hebrews 6 and 10 for for the most high is not unrighteous or for the for Yah Bashamah Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love because we're laboring. We are constantly laboring in this thing. OK, just fighting to stay in the faith. That's a labor in itself on top of uh, uh, um, studying to make thy, thy election. Um, how does it how does it go? study to make thy calling an election sure or, or it says give diligence to make thy election sure it says study to, to uh, make thyself or set or some, study to to uh i'm gonna have to bring it out i'm sorry i'm it, you know it's escaping me let me just bring it out after this scripture it says for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed towards his name this is all towards the name of Yah Bashamah Shai. This is what he wants. Okay, and through that, he wants he wants us to catch hell. Because his son caught hell. This is how he set up. Look, the things that we're going to receive, it tells you that Romans 8, 
uh, 8 and 18, that, that's probably one of, that's probably top three, one of my favorite scriptures, that uh, the things that we suffer are not even comparable to the things that, to the glory that's going to be revealed in us. Okay? That's not going to even compare. We're going to forget about it. It tells you that also in Sirach, the, um, the 11th chapter, 25th verse, how when there, in, in, in a day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of, of um, affliction. Okay? And that ye have ministered to the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. What does the word minister mean? It means to serve. How, how do you serve? By uh, bringing out this word. Feeding, feeding the flock. Okay? And do minister. Meaning you're, you're going to be ministering. Okay? You're going to be found working when Yahweh Shai comes back. You're not going to be found without that wedding garment. You're not going to be found with, uh, not in the field working. Laboring. Uh, okay? You, you're not going to... Uh, you, you, you're not going to be uh, laid up, okay, with a woman in the bed, okay, Me, meaning spirit, what, I, what I'm trying to say is you're going to, you're going to, you're going to continue to do this thing, okay, that's, that's the most side that's not, he's not going to forget that labor, okay, he's not going to forget that hard labor, because this is hard labor, okay, this is uh, more, more, more importantly, this is a hard labor of the mind, okay, this is a, a mental battle, spiritual battle within the mind, okay, because uh, it says that in Ephesians 6 that we uh, wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual, um, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So this is a spiritual battle within the mind. Now, I said I wanted to bring, oh, I was butchering those scriptures, Salakia. Uh, let me just bring them out. Second uh, Peter 1 and, and 10 Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make thy call, your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fail. So how do you give diligence? Well, you're constantly working. You're constantly putting out content. You're constantly going to the camp. You're constantly studying. You're constantly praying. That's that's the most important thing, praying to Yahweh Basham Shai. You're constantly, you know, giving him no rest, praying to him, uh, asking him to keep you strong, asking him to keep you in this faith. Okay, asking him to put the spirit of his son on you. Put the spirit of diligence on you, uh, 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 of being on fire for this thing, and, and, and not being lukewarm. Okay, so um, let me bring out this other scripture. I believe this scripture is. Let me see. Um, let me just search it. I think I know where it's at. Give me a second. I think I know where it's at. Spirit. Give me a second. My phone is tripping. The app is closed. Give me a second. Second Timothy's, and then we're just going to close it out. Second Timothy's 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. Okay? So you study to show yourself approved to who? Yah, Bashman Shai. That you're, that you're willing to, to put in the work. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Okay, when y'all Bashamal when it's, when y'all when y'all Bashamal Shai sends the son y'all Shai, you're not gonna be ashamed. Okay, rightly dividing the word of truth, and that's the only way to be able to rightly divide this truth is to um is to study. Okay, so we all have to pick up our game. Okay, we're at the end of this thing. Okay, so I pray that you brothers were edified. Until next time, shalom to the elect.